a Mississippi judge has been accused of striking a 20-year-old uh, mentally disabled black man uh, and yelling while he did it, run, N-word, run. So I want to pause the story right there, because when we report on these stories often, uh, you say the N-word. Yeah. Because you, if it's in context and it's a quote, you say it. And I was debating whether I was going to say it or not. The reason so why I thought maybe you could just give a little context to that. Yeah, moment. the reason why I'll always say it when I'm quoting someone is because I don't want to take away from the severity of what they said. So in this case, he said, run, nigger, run. OK? And, and he didn't say run, N-word, run. He said the full word because he's a racist piece of shit who who abuses mentally ill people and says racist things in the process. I mean, this is, look, at this point, it's an accusation. Right. And if these accusations are true, I stand by what I'm saying right now. Um, but to know that he is a judge who uh, sentences people, that makes rulings, makes me sick to my stomach. And it shows you the type of racism st that still exists today. Yeah, so the man's name, uh, he's uh, Bill Weissenberger from Madison County. He's a, a justice court judge. Um, and you might find this interesting. Under Mississippi law, elected justices only have to have a high school diploma. Whoa. That's it. I cannot believe that. There was uh, some legislation back in 2007 that they would at least have to have a law degree, uh, but that didn't go anywhere in the Mississippi House. Wow. So, look, there's the obvious racist part here that this stuff still goes on is unbelievable. There's the, the part that involves a judge, which somehow makes it even worse. I'm still, I can't believe that I can be a judge in Mississippi. I mean, I- it, A high school diploma. That's insane. That's I, and, and I don't want to equate that, obviously. You know, that doesn't, just because you're, you didn't go on to receive a higher education doesn't mean you're any of these things, but that's crazy, first of all. Second of all, how is this person going to, I mean, is, does he get to stay a judge now? I mean, how does this work? Because it's, you know, whether, I don't know what the legality of the situation is, but in terms of, um, you know, humanity and, and all the social horrible things that go along with this, who would stand for this? Right, so yeah. the NAACP is filing complaint, a complaint with the Judicial Performance Commission and the State Attorney General. Uh, we've got a quote from the local NCAA chapter president. He said this is 2014, not 1960, where someone could slap a young man and call out, run, nigger, run. So. I use the root word there using yeah. using sort of your uh, methodology, I suppose. Like we have a really big problem with our justice system in the country. It starts off with excessive force used by cops. It starts off with you know certain people in the country getting prosecuted for doing the exact same thing that other people do, but they don't get prosecuted. You know there are double standards when it comes to sentencing, and now to know that there are judges in a state that have absolutely no education necessary to properly adjudicate a specific case makes me sick to my stomach. And I've, I've used that phrase already in this video, but it's true. I mean, what, are, what kind of country are we living in? You need to have a law background in order yeah. to be a judge and to know that he could get away with this kind of behavior is crazy. And I hope that you know organizations go after him. I hope he gets his ass fired. And I hope that this is a teachable moment for Mississippi, because you should not have people with no education become judges. Yeah. The reason why you get an education in law is because it properly trains you to be a lawyer or to be a judge. If you have a high school education and that's it, you're not you're not an expert right. in that you field. You have to adjudicate yeah. and make decisions based yeah. on the law. Sure. If you're a high school graduate, yeah. there's no reason to think that you have any background or Absolutely. any ability to reference cases and, and, and make the proper decisions. And I don't I don't know, but I you know the, I know people who are judges, I know people who have judges in their family, and I personally don't know anyone who wasn't a litigator before that. So to skip all all of that training and go right to, you know, being a judge, I've never heard of that before. Well it's Mississippi.